Good evening, folks. Welcome to tonight's game between the UC Irvine Anteaters and the Utah Utes. Number 21 is a player who has an impact on the outcome of most games. He's a coach's dream, Brad. A scoring machine and a solid defensive player rolled into one. The Utes will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Utes are not facing one of their tougher opponents, so what's the key in them not giving it away? Well, for me, the keys are these. First, get the ball to your big man on the block early. That'll open up the perimeter game, baby. Second of all, keep the mental mistakes to a minimum. Turnovers could be the story of this one, baby. Lastly, execute defensively. Don't get caught going for the big steals or the big blocks. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court and we'll see how this one plays out. The ball goes out of play. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. I think they're trying to make a statement. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. And look at the facial expression. On the inside, looking for the foul. He makes the shot. Goes up for two. Easy one. That's a breakdown. That'll drive a coach bananas. Help you to lose your hair. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got on the low block. Tries for two. He gets the bucket. Four. Four. Two. For two. They still don't score. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Now trying to feed the low block for the bucket. The Anteaters have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. He shoots from right of the circle, drains the shot. Trying to feed the low block with the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. The small forward takes the feed. On the dribble, gives it up. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. The center with the ball. Tries for two. Doesn't go. <laughs> Number 50. Pump fakes. The turn of fadeaway jumper. I tell you, you got to be exceptional to make that shot. Because a lot of coaches don't like it because you're going away. You're not in rebound position. You better make it count. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't... And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Down inside. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> The center gets the pass for two. Perfectly executed. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Moving it around the perimeter. From the baseline, sinks the shot. low block and Dick this is just playing good defense really? and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot on the break from the top of the key 
The Utes have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. This is college basketball at its best, Nick. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Burn. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. There was no doubt about that one. On the outside. The shooting guard gets the ball. Looking around the perimeter. A little frustration right there. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Steals a pass. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> Number 50 takes the pass. Perfectly executed. Looking for a good shot. Look at a shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. Great anticipation defensively. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Well, listen to those fans. The crowd is thunderous. He dials long distance, drains it. Let's get a replay, baby. Spin move not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And the ball goes out of bounds. High post flashes. The fake. Executes the baby hook. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. Now the high screen. Picks off the pass. thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I'll tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. I can't emphasize it enough, Brad. It's important to get to the charity strike. He makes the first. And he got them both. Tries for two, and off the mark. Gave it up. Number 50 with the foul. First personal foul. 
Oh, he's having fun with the opponent's dick. He sure is, but he better make sure that he doesn't cross the line. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. For two, the Anteaters have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Side and he tries a drop step defensively. Nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Burns is fired up right now emotionally. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. Leans in. He drains the shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. Here they are in transition, Brad. He gets the bucket to fall. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. There they come with a double team to stop it. Makes it. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. They work the perimeter. Way out on top. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Dump it inside. In the paint for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Freeman is seemingly at an emotional low right now. Hey, he may need some encouragement from one of his teammates. Another turnover. And we're not talking apple turnovers either. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Hard foul. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Gave it up. Pushing that basketball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Oh, what a strip, Red. Puts up the shot. Goes. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. Puts it up, looking for contact. Wait. 
On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That was a high post screen, goes to the lane. They work it back to the outside. Vicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Turns it over. Here's a double team. Got the shot if he wants it. He gets it to fall. Four out. Four, four, three. Three. For two, perfectly executed. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever's necessary to help their team win. Isn't it great, Brad? Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. Oh, that defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Jumped in front to take it away. He gets the shot to fall. He strips him clean. Here they go into the break. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst of off in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Nice high post screen. And he scores despite the hack. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Gave it up for the bucket. In and out. Trying to draw the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Double team now, bad angle. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. On the outside, trying to draw some contact, drops the bucket despite the harm. Working it around the perimeter. Jumps in. Utah are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it up, Brad. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Turnover City now always reeling the gate. Any offense. Nice little jam right there. The one-hand jam and stuff. 
Little showtime, little pizzazz. Get out the mustard. From downtown. Man, he ran his man right into the screen to get off that nice uh -huh. jumper. Picked out of the air. And a momentary look from three-point land. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He takes the shot. Man, he lured the defender to the screen, giving him time to shoot the sweet J. That spin move's not gonna work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Wide open for the shot. He tries the three ball. He drains the bucket. Take a look right here. There's a double team waiting there. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? High post flasher is open. Nice fake. High post screen, gonna use it. Goes up for two. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Picked off. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there. Foul plus the bucket. Big time play on that one, Dick. You said it, Brad. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's throwing salt on the moon. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. With the free throw. He gets it to go. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Takes away the pass. perimeter he bombs from outside there was no doubt about that one and the ball goes out of play that's probably why you're out of coaching too many points off turnover I'll tell you one thing that leads you to the exit side no question you get the Ziggy I'll tell you you got to protect the basketball you can't turn it over <laughs> the Ziggy I love that here's the three ball Everything they throw up keeps hitting the target. NBM, nothing but Mallon. At the end of the first half, the Anteaters are ahead by two. This one's been a nail-biter so far, Dick. What play do you think set the tone in the first half, in your opinion? No bigger shot in the first half for me than this three ball from downtown, baby. Teams build the confidence they need when the threes are falling. We're about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's go down and see how this one unfolds. Utah is practically handing the ball over to the opposing team like it's a Christmas present or something right now, Dick. Hey, any team would gladly receive this kind of nice gesture. I bet they're not getting anything but a mouthful of criticism from their coaching staff. He nails the shot. 
Our focus player update, Nick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do? I think you ought to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. Fake. And he'll kick it back outside. From the top of the circle, he hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside, outside action always works. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They still don't score. Utah are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. Stolen away. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Pass down low. There's a drop step, and oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step, very slow. And now there's a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He's open if he wants the shot. He gets that one to fall. They scored seven in a row. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The Anteaters have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Basket falls despite the contact. Facing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice house. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing, coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose the air and you get balled like I am. He was looking for the call and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Entry pass in the paint on the outside. On the top of the circle, 
They're dialing threes up like nothing right now. Hey, this is awesome to watch, baby. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Utah are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Gets up to make the block. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. The Utes have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Now they're working around the perimeter. He attempts the three. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. Defensively trying to stay with his man, and he's going to pick up a foul. What a poor job defensively. Very slow inside, and they attack him aggressively. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Gave it up for the bucket. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. On the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Dump it inside. Picks off the lazy pass. He looks at the hoop. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Launches the three. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. Hey, Brad, their shot selection has been questionable. Too many outside jumpers. They've got to attack inside and then out. Time to pick up the defense here now. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looks at a three. Tickles a twine. Gave it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He allowed the screen to develop before he tossed in a nice inside basket. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up, and they're ready to try to help their team. They look like they're having a blast. Accepted. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of play. Shoots way off target. Looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. Steals a pass. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. Good fake. There they come with a double team to stop it. A 
On the outside, has a nice look at the basket. Ten seconds to shoot. For two, perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. Tries a three. Utah have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. Controlling the ball. From left of the circle. They're on fire, Dick, from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. They'll work it around the arc. Goes for the deep one. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. On the inside. Look at the student section, Dick. Cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. He hits the second shot. That's a 7-0 run. Dumps it in. Way out on top. Controlling the ball for the bucket. Gets it to fall. Moving it around the perimeter. Jumped in front to take it away. He went for the steal in the post and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Looking for a good shot. Had to go up high with a shot. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Look at this effort. with a shot. Gave it up. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside, outside action always works. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. There's the trap. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. On the outside. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. And he'll kick it back outside. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. With a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. <laughs> the 
Worked the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. In the paint. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He lets it fly. He hits it. The Utes are up by 12. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Ten on the shot clock. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. away on the dribble gives it up here they go into transition tries for two now they work it around the perimeter he fakes the shot they work it around the perimeter Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Jump hook from the low post. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Here's a double team. Gave it up. He strokes it. The Anteaters have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. Moving it around the perimeter. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He missed. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Step out on that screener. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Two shots. Makes it. Either. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. Up and inside. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He shoots from the baseline. The Utes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the lazy pass. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Well, the energy is unbelievable in here. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. <laughs> Takes the pass in the paint. He buries it.
Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. The Utes have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Daddy's on fire. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Jump hook from the low post. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Jumped in front to take it away. Looking for a good shot. On the outside, they work the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. He gets the rejection. They want to talk about it right here, Dick. They got to find a way to chip him with his lead before it's too late. the action it's a 10-point spread dick yeah but 10 points can't be spread too thin brad they'd like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah they're really doing a great job packing it in then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass now they work it around the perimeter working it around the perimeter got an open look if he wants it Looking for a good shot. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. From the top of the key, number 21 is really turning some heads right now. He's on fire. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. It's all about scoring here if they want a chance at winning. For two, sweet looking shot. He is super, he really is. The ending to this one might be headline news in tomorrow's paper. In close games like this, Brad, offensive and defensive execution is very important. The power forward handles the feed. Stolen ball. The Anteaters are going to call a timeout. And with that, we got a break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. Offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, thanks, Aaron. Play about ready to resume. That makes it a four-point lead. These kids are here to fight, Brad. Picked off. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it, Dick? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by following Brad. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, locking shots, walking uh -huh. shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. And the clock stopped with a foul. Brad, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back in the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. And yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. He is going to the line. Makes the front end of the one and one. Gets the second shot. 
The student body is rocking tonight. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Set that screen away. They have to foul to put them on the line and hope they miss. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. He'll visit the charity strike. Sinks it. He hits his second. A bucket here is crucial. For something different here coming out of this timeout, Dick. I wouldn't doubt it, Brad. Five points separate these two squads right now. No one's leaving this building without a fight, Brad. <laughs> and yet another foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. Makes his second shot. They're shooting extremely well from the strike tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. It'll be interesting to see the level of energy, Dick, when they come out of this timeout. Launches it. No good. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Utah found themselves in a heck of a battle before pulling away at the end. They expected to be the victor. They just didn't expect it to be this close. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.